Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Tales of Magile, shall we? Distro, hello my friend, good evening, how you doing? That is quite an adorable emote that you have displayed there. Fantastic. Well, everybody, what are we doing? What are we doing with this character? It's the same game. Trying not to die. Trying to explore. Therese's. Hello, my friend. Good evening. How you doing? We're trying to make it all happen. We're trying to make it come together. For this halfling. Now, uh, I was in a different part of the game. Doing something that I should not have been. And now... Um, I have left the Dreadfell, and I'm trying to level myself up so that I'm strong enough to go there with this character. So we're exploring some kind of more, hopefully, level-appropriate locations, and we have found ourselves in the ruined halfling complex at the moment. Indeed, Therese's. Therese's wants this character to go kaput so that we can start up a new character using some of the other content in the game. But this little halfling is trying its darndest to stay out of harm's way. <laughs> hey, hey Grim. Good evening, my friend. How's it going? Good to see you. You've got a little charming emote too. A bee. All right. So let's get this going. I've organized my abilities poorly, uh, but effectively for me, down below here, and we have quite a bunch at this point with this character, and we're actually getting close to level 19. So I don't believe that there's any more for us to explore here. Um, now, so we're going to go down. And... We don't really want to keep any of this at the moment. Um, maybe this armor here, but what does it do for us? Only die when reaching minus 80 life. That's kind of interesting. Maybe I want to keep that. I didn't even see that before with this item, but I haven't messed too around too much with this kind of property on a magical item. So this says that, you know, we could go down to minus 80 on our health before we die. So that's pretty slick in some ways. Um, so I'm going to hold on to it just for the purposes of uh, examining it. But I think that our armor, our armor gives us 33 maximum life. So, and 8.9 regen as well as 11% healing modifier. And so in that sense, it's keeping us alive, but not plus 80 health if, if you want to look at that other item in that way. But it does also give us more stamina, which is nice too. So anyway, um, we'll d destroy those items and consider that. All right. Ooh, well, look at this. I feel mildly anxious and walk with caution. That's awesome, Therese's. That's cool. I hope so. <laughs> That's a good class. I like it. I like it. It may or may not be. So Therese's is doing his best to not spoil. And only hint that there may be classes in the game that benefit significantly from going below zero health undead or lich type classes I'm not sure but I haven't unlocked them yet now as I go here we see two enemies right away and I'm going to check these things out so we have a skeletal warrior that is standing in with a sword and then we have a ghoul um, so let's see if I can kill any of these things immediately so I can go ahead and try to use 
my pin down on right there and then hey it's dead and we got a new achievement called exterminator killed 1000 creatures that's a lot of creatures i'll take it all right and then this shambling ghoul is over here so we'll just go ahead and hit this guy in the face and uh we we got him with a we marked him so we can do our headshot and now we can do steady shot and he's gone okay so let's see he dropped a shield and let's just go ahead and st we stop because there's interesting terrain that's curious all right oh look at this well here comes a whole bunch of enemies i'm going to step back then and i'm going to go ahead and just disengage from this guy way back to here and then i'm going to try to pin this guy down oh i'm looks like i'm pinning down the wrong guy but that's fine oh things are teleporting all around here now that's confusing Oh, oh, he used a blink rune. That's how that happened. Well, guess what? I can blink away from this guy. Not blink, but I can disengage back to here. And then I will steady shot him. And he's marked, so we can hit him here. Well, let me look at this guy. He's an elite enemy, the armored skeleton warrior. That explains it. I was wondering why this guy is tough. Okay. Okay. So we've got a tough guy standing in. And what do you do when there's a tough guy? You use Luck of the Little Folk. And then you also uh, go ahead and use True Shot. And then... Mm, do I want to tumble? Yeah. I'm going to tumble back to here. And then I'm going to just go ahead and shoot this guy. And we'll steady shot him. And he's nearly gone. Let's see how nearly gone he is. He's at 8% health. He's dead now. And, oh, look. Don't you love this about this game? At least I love this about this game. So, this skeleton archer has fired an arrow. You can see the arrow on his character sprite. But because of our hyper-fast reflexes we get the chance like neo in the matrix time has stopped and we can use uh, our ability called shoot down and we can just shoot his arrow out of the sky and we do that and we demoralize him and then we just fire at him again and then we can pin him down he's been marked and we'll headshot him and steady shot and he's gone terrific So in this case, we're now 89% of the way up a level. Oh, here's another skeleton. Well, look at that. Let's steady shot. Hit him. Uh, he tried to hit us, but he missed. And he's down to 16%, so he's gone. Ooh, there's a lot of guys here. All right, he's gone too. This is interesting. They all know we're here. <laughs> Enemies are all converging on us, but that's okay. That's kind of what we like, you know? They come to us. We're at 91%. Let's, let's look around. There's a ghoul down there. Try to pin him down. And he's erased. Oh, okay. Now, the skeleton magus just hit us for 105. So that's, that's not something that we want. But we have some stuff that we can do in a situation like this. First of all, we're going to use Luck of the Little Folk. And we're going to use this. Now, we can, if we really, really want, use something like called shots to silence him. And it seems like the right thing to do, to silence the Magus. And then from here, I'm going to just steady shot, and he's trying to run at us. And at this point, he's dead. So we took him down, but he did hurt us a little bit. So I'm going to go back, and um, we were on fire. So let's just kind of rest up. And there we go. So what do we got here? This is a... Ooh, we found something called the Eclipse. 
This tall staff is tipped with a pitch black sphere that yet seems to give off a strong light. Fascinating. All right, so this is a awesome staff probably for some spellcaster. Somebody, not us. Uh, let's check it out. And what does this do? Yeah, it requires magic of 32. So that's just that's just not us through and through. I'm going to keep looking around. And here comes a bad guy. But luckily for us, not the strongest. I'm going to try to pin this guy down. And it's over. Oh, another magus. Okay, so we'll luck a little folk. And I will um, actually true shot and then we're going to go ahead and try to silence this guy <laughs> oh no Therese is hilarious no it's that's a job better left to stronger halflings than myself I'm not ready for something like that I've seen all the evidence I need to see Look at this. What is this? This is Lysil, the rare skeleton warrior. So, Lysil could be a problem. Let me go ahead and just um, use evasion and then steady shot. And then I'm going to disengage from you down to here. And then we'll just shoot you. Steady shot. Shoot. You've been marked. Headshot. And you're dead. We got some steel mail armor. We got a really nice steel shield called Adawin. But unfortunately, our character isn't really the shield type. Um, mostly because, hey, we don't have any shield training. So that's embarrassing. We'd need to get that to use something like a shield. This is a pretty good item, though. It gives 19 armor. It's kind of gross. I'm going to just put this in my inventory. If I could ever use a shield, I would love something like that. All right, this guy wants to get feisty. He's getting feisty. He's gone. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, all kinds of bad things just happen. So, we just got hit for 110 darkness damage. There's also a skeleton assassin that's up on us. Now, I thought I knew about all kinds of things. I didn't know about skeleton assassins. And that's embarrassing, but also funny. Alright, here we go then. True shot. Evasion. And I'm going to uh, move away from this skeleton assassin. And just fire away to kill it, hopefully. Ooh, it got bubbled. Yeah, Therese's, I'm hoping so, my friend. I'm hoping so. Uh, what is this bubble on you? You seem to have some kind of resistance. Ooh, we leveled up. How about that? Okay, great. I'm excited about that. Now, the ghoul should be coming around the corner. It is. I'm going to use Luck of Little Folk. I'm going to try to pin down the ghoul now. Oh, that was um awful. Um, okay, so we got blasted by something. I'm going to go ahead then and immediately try and silence the ghoul. We're not getting silenced. we got to get out of this area. So I'm going to tumble to here. And then I'm going to step and step to get out of the range of whatever evil that spell was. Hey, hey, Alex. Good evening, my friend. How you doing? Alex, by the way, thank you. I just saw your message on Discord about Vintage Story. And I can't wait to read through your notes, Alex, and play some more of the game. Try to Try to get things moving with my clay operation. I need to step over here. And we... We're getting into a little bit of trouble. So. I think I'm going to just. 
Now, you know what, though? We've got this ghoul down a bunch. I'm going to shoot it. Yeah, we killed it. Okay, good. Then I'm going to go ahead and finish this guy off. Or try to. Dead. And then... Let me knock you back. That didn't really work. Um... <laughs> hey, thanks, Alex. Well, I started blind, Alex, but... Um... I've had uh, a super amount of help from y you and others on how to get through the game, so it's been great. Okay. We need to rest, everybody. We need to rest immediately. That was terrifying. We fought a, bu a bunch of hard things, but we did it, and now we can level up. So, what do we get? We get three stat points, which, well, we just kind of crank this one, and then I have been working on strength just a bit and constitution now can we come up with combat training for shield usage no not unless we can find a way to get there all right we would need to um unlock a new ability set No, no, Alex. The comments are not too much, and yes, I would need it. I would be in such bad shape without them. All right, so everybody, let's look at this. We can put points into Sniper, but Sniper is for bows, so no reason to do that at the moment. Um, what do we want to raise up here? Let's look at this. Let's try to figure it out. Hey, hey, victory! Good evening, my friend. How's it going? Oh, man. My July 4th was great. Just chilling and grilling. How about yourself? I hope you had a great time. It was very hot, but uh, we went to the pool a bit and were able to cool down and have fun with friends and family. So, good times. By the way, Victory, I was talking to someone else about Avernum, uh, somebody who was watching, and... I was explaining my situation, basically wanting to only play one kind of like serious RPG like that at, at once, and I think um, I'm going to take his advice and go back down to normal difficulty level so I don't have to grind as much and pick up Avernum again once I get through uh, Underrail. <laughs> yes, victory. It was awesome. All right, so what can I do? What can I do? Bullseye? Each time you consume a mark, what do I want to spend my class point on, I guess would be the good question. So Steady Shot, all it does is more damage with more chance to mark. Oh, okay, shields are heavy armor level 2. Oh, thank you. Oh, cool. There's a there's a class that's specialized in that. That's interesting. Maybe I should try this then. I don't know. It would probably destroy my evasion, but it might be worth it. Right? Because I, I kind of think it, it doesn't make sense because I went light armor training. So light armor training is giving me all of this bonus to my defense um, that's, that's quite good. And it, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just get light armor training just for our defense. And we max that out. And now, you know, we get uh, all kinds of pen, uh, bonuses, which are beautiful. Now, do I want to, what do I want to pump up here? So this would help me silence things for more very intriguing. I use this all the time. I think so, Victory. I agree. I started on hard and I had fun with it, but it's one of those games where you realize that, and RPGs tend to do this in general, where hard difficulty means 
everything has more hit points and is harder. So you just have to grind more and then you can beat them. And, you know, that is a lot of fun if you have the time, but I, I just don't want... I, I'll just play it a normal experience and you can change the difficulty anytime, so that's great. I think I'm going to raise this up because I use Steady Shot just pretty much all the time. Oh, that's interesting, Therese. So maybe I will then pump it up later to try to use a shield or something. Okay. Um, I'm going to do this because I just... I use it, like I said, all the time. Yes, I accept the changes. All right, great. So let's keep looking around. And we found this guy, and we can just shoot him and blast him. He's gone. Okay. Uh. Yeah. We just do so much damage. Uh. That it's great. That's true, Victory. You've given me so many tips on that game. It's great. I really appreciate it. And yes, now that you've beaten it, you can certainly give me tips. Very good point. Now, Therese, I love that you're pointing it out. That's true. So that's a, it's a good thing to know that uh, it doesn't necessarily mean just that you have to wear light armor in all of your slots. So, for example, I'm wearing, um, you know, this armor here in this slot, which is light armor. But I could wear heavy armor elsewhere and be cool. All right. Oh. Let's go ahead and... Let's silence this guy. And then just blast him. And he's gone. This skeleton mage has been eliminated. Ooh. Lore found. Research log of halfling mage Hompalon. Hompalon's log entry 7... Age of Allure, 45, 47. Test subject O, imploded during transition. That's not good. Test subject P, survived first transition but turned mad, had to be put down. Q, survived first transition, imploded on return. R, died, S and T, imploded. Um, I kind of feel like I already saw this. Or there was something very similar to this. Subject C currently raving, but I believe this is due to stressful conditions. Not co a direct corrosion of mental facilities from the portal use. We'll have to study further. God, I bet there's some portal in here that I should not go through. That is a good point, Therese. I like that. Right? Like, I might get some kind of cool heavy armor that I want to wear. All right, let me go over here and see if I want to open any of these doors. I don't think so. I think we're good. Alex says, what did I do to avoid getting ganked by random enemies being randomly 20 level higher than the other stuff in the local area? Are you talking about um, Avernum? Alex, are you talking about uh, Tales of Magi? All right. Um, do I want to keep any of this stuff? Oh, so you have to be very careful, um, Alex. So what I did, my friend, was I've had people... Um, I stuck to the quests and then just made sure that when I went into an area, I was the right level for it if it was a cave. And then on the overworld, you have to be super careful not to get jumped by any of the wandering parties of enemies that are hostile to you because I lost a really strong character to them. They were way harder than I thought they would be. And so I learned that the hard way. I stay to dungeons and then you can kind of go to all of the starter areas and grind them out to get your character uh, a little bit more powerful as well. 
But I'll tell you this. Um, oh, oh, actually. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. As Therese said, I don't open doors. So, um, absolutely, um, Alex. So if you see a door and it says the door is stuck or, you know, it tells you that it's you shouldn't open it in any way or there's problems opening it, I never open it because there are going to be monsters that are very, very hard inside. There's probably good treasure, but I've been killed by opening those with, with characters I thought were strong. And so at this point, I never open them. I never open any doors unless they open without any problem. All right, let's look around. There's a skeleton warrior to the south. All right, fine. Yeah, well, I'll tell you too, though, um, Alex, it is unlucky, but also sometimes in this game, the level isn't always an indication of, like, how hard the enemy is. I, I don't know how to explain it fully, but, like, in Dungeon Crawl, like, you could tell really quickly, like, oh, that's, that's very, very hard. There's no way I could take that. But in this, it's different. All right, so this isn't going well. So I'm going to disengage from this guy and get as far away as I can. Like, sometimes it'll be many levels higher than you, but you can beat it, and then sometimes not so much. Ooh, this guy jumped behind me. Very canny. All right, we got him. And let's go ahead and pin this guy down. Mages are terrible. Absolutely, Alex. The mages with the range damage, brutal. What I focus on, Alex, is trying to uh, make sure that I can escape. So this character is very good at running away, which I I like. As Therese said, I'm very brave in these games. I'm, uh, I'm like Brave Sir Robin from Monty Python, you know? Um, brave, Brave Sir Robin boldly ran away. Like, that's pretty much me. Alright. Well, I like this place just because the enemies are giving me pretty good experience. What is this? It's a ring. It's the Gladiator's Steel Ring. Let's just check out this ring. It's going to give us six physical power and six strength. Nah, we don't need that. Oh. We just got blasted for 80 lightning damage from Lysodona, the skeleton warrior. Rare. Okay. So, luck of the little folk. This. Evasion. And here we go. I'm going to try to silence you first, and then we're going to try to pin you down. And we've got a headshot on you. Okay, good. We'll just blast you normally. Another headshot. Boy, this, this creature is not taking much damage. Now it is. And it's dead. What is this thing? I don't like the look of this. This is a ghast. Hmm, interesting, Therese's. Yeah, Alex, it's not, like, the most obvious thing. Like, it doesn't seem as dangerous as it really is, the warning that it gives you. But 100%, it is not messing around. The stuff when you open the door is nightmarish. <laughs> 